all right well old rosie here's let me down or maybe i've let her down it's my link belt 3400 um started running itself out of fuel and um, that's why i say maybe i let her down it ran great i was hauling the other day parked back here for several hours just running back and forth with the truck dumping and then when i drove over here to get up on top of these piles and spread them out the engine just idled down and died just like it'd run out of diesel and uh i thought well that, you know shit i thought i had more fuel than that so i got out checked my fuel yeah i got 10 inches still in the tank fuel gauge doesn't work right <laughs> but i got 10 inches which is plenty so i uh i dumped in another five gallons just to make sure that maybe you know like the pickup wasn't on the side of the tank or something weird like that started back up and it ran for like you know 30 seconds and died again oh crap well okay so i thought maybe my uh fuel filter is you know plugged off it's been about a year since i've changed it well this is the fuel filter that i'm familiar with and this is actually my fuel water separator so i was going to give you guys a little tour and just show you how the whole system works i changed that thing out holy crap it was nasty it made me feel bad it really did there was like mud in that thing it was gross gross so i changed it out primed it up um used a little bit of ether just because it was cold out and i got the excavator start and run again and it was sitting there just idling sounded happy so i thought well i'm just gonna walk away and let it run for you know an hour or whatever just let it sit here and kind of idle and work out the bugs and well I came back a couple minutes later and it was shut off again and then I couldn't get it to restart. I could get it to start and run on ether, but it was 100% ether dependent. If I stopped spraying, it shut off. So that got me wondering about, you know, another another obstruction somewhere uh, or potentially a, a low pressure leak. And if, you, if you're not real familiar with diesels, which I'd imagine anybody watching this video probably is, diesels, if they get air in the system, totally jacks them up. And the way most older diesels anyway are designed is they have two fuel pumps actually. They have a low pressure lift pump which effectively sucks diesel from the engine. And then they push that through your filter system and up into your injection pump, which pressures it up to high pressure to your injectors. So you can have, and I've had this happen on my old pickup too, you can have a low pressure leak that doesn't drip diesel. Uh, you'll never know it's leaking unless you can put a clear hose on and you can look for air slugs going through your fuel system. Now I haven't done that yet. I hope I don't have to, but I did locate the, the lift pump. So what I was gonna show you just real quick not that it really matters, but so this, I, ever since I've owned this machine, this is the only fuel filter I've ever noticed just because boom, it's right there in your face and I've changed it before, but it's actually my fuel water separator. That's what this little deal is here on the bottom. That's so you can drain the water out. So it has fuel inlet here coming from the fuel tank and then fuel out here, which you can't hardly trace the lines, but it's this line right here, snaking around, goes up into your engine. Now from there, and again, not that you guys can really see this but it doesn't matter it's the description of the system that's going to matter to you here's that fuel line coming in uh, right here around this corner um and it's coming right over here to my lift pump this is my lift pump it's this little bitty doodad right here on the side of the engine um this little handle here is actually a prime so you can thread that out and it's a little prime piston so if you do run yourself out of diesel this is how you would you would prime it up to make sure you've got fuel. So this is that fuel line going in, and this is the fuel out of the lift pump. <clears throat> fuel out of the lift pump comes up here to the fuel filter, and then goes back out of, I believe this is the outlet here. It goes back down from the outlet, the primary outlet. It goes down to my injector pump, which is right here on the side, um, with all the, obviously, all the injector high pressure lines coming off of it. Injectors up on top of the engine these little curvy lines on top are your blowback return lines and you can see those come back across To the fuel filter here That makes sure the fuel filter stays full and there's a relief point also from that blowback that goes back to your injection pump so the whole system uh, It really relies on that <clears throat> that lift pump To get fuel up here in the first place if your lift pump fails then you're never going to get fuel up to your injector pump. Your injector pump is really not designed to suck fuel. It's designed to, it's, uh, you know, um, if, if you're familiar with pumps, you know, there's, there's two primary types of pumps. There's a low pressure, high volume pump, which would be like an impeller um, or like a big water transfer pump. And then there is 
uh, low volume, high pressure pumps, which are typically reciprocating pumps, and they're a lot like the pistons in your engine of your vehicle. They're designed to, you know, move very, very small volume, but increase very high pressure. So, because they're designed to increase pressure, they're really they have to have a, a pressure feeding into them. They're not designed to suck fuel in. They have to be fed. So that's what happens here. Your lift pump is effectively feeding your injector pump. Now, once that injector pump gets going, the bypass and the fuel return lines will keep it, will help feed it. You know, diesel engines, I don't know about new, new trucks, but older diesel engines, they're designed to send more fuel to the injectors than they need. It's, that's that mechanical injector design. So they'll send more fuel to the injector than they actually need, and the excess is in that return line. And so in doing that, the whole system keeps itself kind of constantly um, topped off and fed if that makes you know I hope that makes sense so <clears throat> the reason I made this video it like I said it's basic for those that understand diesel engines that work on stuff like this and really the whole system is surprisingly basic you'd think it'd be complicated but it is it all boils down to a few key components um, anyway in in tracing all this because I'm looking for a potential for a low pressure leak and now I know where to go there's only there's really only potential for two low pressure leaks which would be this line here this inlet to the lift pump it could be leaking and I can trace that back to that fuel water separator and back to the tank so there's really not a whole lot of places for a low pressure leak um, and it's not a high pressure leak because when the engine starts nothing's blowing out but in doing that I found this other fuel filter and this is why I said I think I let the excavator down because I never realized this fuel filter was here I've owned the machine for almost three years now and because I had always located that other fuel filter and knew where it was I never even thought to look for a second one, <laughs> you know? So that's me being a complete dunce. I mean, I don't get up here on top of the engine hardly ever. And again, that's that's poor maintenance, but I really don't use this machine all that often. You know, I maybe put, I don't know, maybe a couple hundred hours a year on it. I mean, I need to, I need to maintain filters based on a time function more than I do an hours function. I mean, time as far as like months, you know? Um, more than I do like an hourly uh, interval. I, I jump up here pretty much check the oil that's about it um, so I never really even looked for that filter but there it is so I'm gonna load up here and run to town I wish I'd have known this was here because I went to town the other night and bought the other fuel filter but I'm gonna load up go buy this fuel filter and maybe it's just really nasty because it hasn't been changed in three years fingers crossed that's my problem I pulled that little piston there um, this guy here on the lift pump and pumped it a couple strokes and it was squirting fuel out so I think I'm you know I'm getting fuel to the lift pump the question is which I knew I was but the question is once the engine starts and that lift pump starts really sucking um, is it sucking in air or do I just have a totally plugged off fuel filter here and maybe that's why I'm not getting enough consistent fuel to keep the engine running so gonna get that changed out and uh, hopefully that's it but we'll just see what happens well that's a positive sign for now Although it did this to me before, it started up and it ran for, I don't know that it ran this long, but it ran for a minute or so, and then it shut itself off. So far it's running pretty smooth, I reached in here and revved it up a little bit, and it's, you know, it's letting me rev it up, at least, but not idling down, so, uh, which that wasn't full rev, it's kind of mechanical throttle, so I've got to go in the cab and actually rev it up and do what happens. That's that new filter on there. And I filled it up with diesel. I checked the prime. I pumped that little primer on, it, on the lift pump. And I felt like it was kind of wanting to air out itself. Like it wasn't pumping the solid stream of fuel. But I pumped it enough to tell it spit fuel out of the filter. Um, so if it's picking up air somewhere, um, if it's picking up air somewhere, it should air out that fuel filter pretty quick. Because as soon as it pushed air through it, it would, it would lock up and it, you know, wouldn't, it wouldn't even be able to push fuel on to the injector pump. So, fingers crossed, it's fixed, and it was just a you know, poor maintenance issue. But I've never ever changed that filter. I've owned the machine for you know, three years now. So, hopefully that's all there was to it. I'm going to sit here and let it run for a good long while and see what happens.